Today, we're reviewing the Each Shot Video Conferencing Lighting Kit. Hi, Taylor here at Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it's imperative to be able to video conference and if you're a business owner, you still need to keep a quality first impression. So in addition to being able to hear you well, people need to be able to see you well too. Don't just rely on the lighting in your room. Sometimes lamps in the right location can work, but many times it creates odd shadows. This each shot LED video light is out of the box easy to use. If you're already convinced you need it, please purchase from the video equipment recommendation page under startup and lighting. To get it set up, you simply need to connect this very sticky suction cup to the end of here. And then you can loosen these knobs in order to get it to your perfect position. It comes with a USB type C for charging. On the back of the light is where the LCD screen is, which shows you your battery level, color temperature, and light intensity. To turn on, simply hold down this circle button for about three seconds. And then once it's on, you're gonna be able to see an arrow pointing to the mode it's on. The top one is the light intensity, which you can adjust from zero to 100. To get to the temperature, click once on the button and then adjust the temperature from 2800 Kelvin to 8500 Kelvin, depending on your environment. Now check out this test footage to see it in action. At the moment, I do have an ICANN uh, temperature adjustable and dimmable LED light on me. However, uh, during this recording, I will turn off this light and then show you what it looks like with no light as well as with light. Just so you have uh, some information about the camera, I am using Zoom to record this video. However, the camera is the Lumix GH4 with the 18 to 24 Sigma art lens. And so that should give you a little bit of an idea of what the video quality is looking like, um, just given the fact that we're recording through Zoom and then using the Lumix, and then you'll see really what this lighting uh, does and what difference it makes. All right, I have the light set up now. I'm going to turn off my ICANN LED lights and then we're going to give this one a shot and see how it is. Okay. So this is with absolutely no light. Oh, I do have a light on my desk. There we go. This is with absolutely no light. I look terrible. I don't even know how I'm even seen right now. Now, Zoom does a really good job with adjusting to no lighting, but as you can see, you're starting to see the reflection of the desktop computer in my glasses. The skin tone just looks terrible. And so you definitely need to always have light. Even if you can see in your office, that's not good enough. You wanna make sure that people can fully see you. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on this each shot. And like I said, I'm gonna start with 50% to see how that lighting is. Okay, so I have it set for 4,000 Kelvin, uh, cause I believe that's what my LED lights were set for for this particular room. And this is at 50%. As you can see, I'm a little bit more lit up, but I'm still really dark looking. Uh, I am about like an arm's length, a little more away from the light. I'm sure if I was right up against it, that that would do more, but this is the angle that I wanna have for my Zoom conversations. And this is a video conferencing light. So let's go ahead and move it up another 25% to 75% and see how that looks. Okay. So you might notice my skin tone's looking a little bit better. My partner had told me that we actually had it set to 3,200 Kelvin versus 4,000. So that makes a difference on that skin tone. And I currently boosted the uh, light up to 75%. And you can see I have a lot more lighting on me. It's a lot more even looking and um, you know, it's definitely giving an overall great look to the, the recording. I'm gonna go ahead and boost it up to 100 to see what that would look like. And there we are, there is 100. I honestly don't see too much of a difference between 75 and 100, but you could definitely see a difference between no light and some light. And honestly, this is doing a really good job in comparison to a light that costs 
two or three times as more as this little light. And so given that fact that this little light is doing such a powerful job, I do love its flexibility. I love how easy it was to set up. That suction cup really works. Uh, it's really being suspended and, and held there together. I'd be able to put it on a laptop. I'd be able to put it on other desktops. I'd be able to put it on a tablet. It's very universal and, and very easy to use. And so this is a really good video conferencing light and one that I would recommend. As you can see, for a small light, it packs a punch and can be a great option for anyone who needs more lighting in their video calls. For only about $35, it's a great light and we suggest it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.